Hi everybody, we are covering bands and artists that are amazing that have never hit a number one single on the US Billboard charts. Can you believe it? Let's get into it. We're number two, we're number two. and welcome back to the channel I'm Sue I'm Chelsea and it is another we're number two week we have another song that never made the number one spot on the US Billboard charts and we have had some shockers so far I actually don't like this week <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this week yeah. because we are hearing such great music from some great people and, and, some, great, and some great comments yeah. yes yeah I, loving I get it, it. I get loving it, it. But it still hurts that a lot of these amazing bands have not made the top at least five. Yes. That's not cool. Some of them didn't. Yeah, you're right. Some of them didn't make heck. Some of them didn't crack the top 40. 40. Yeah. Exactly. A couple of them we've done already didn't even crack the top not 40. Cool. Not cool. We're still going to have a name that tune for Chels. Okay. And uh, she knows that there's uh, not a top not top band, that's but all that's all she knows. Okay. I'll give you a hint, though. I'm not sure that this is really going to help. <clears throat> but this particular band has sold... 100 million records without reaching top yes wow okay okay all right close your eyes mm -hmm. and let's do it this band has never made number one i think people will be shocked by this mm, sure <laughs> Hard one for the opening because this is goes on for a while. Give me a little more then. Goes on for a really long time. Give me give me a long time then. <laughs> it's already over forty seconds. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> no, nope. nothing. Go for it. It is The Who, Bubba O'Reilly. Now, if you can imagine The Who, mm -hmm. the influence this band has had. I mean, just think about all of the songs that they've had just in the CSI franchise. This band has never had a number one hit on and, the U.S. And, and Broadway. Billboards. And Broadway. Right. Yeah. Right? Wow. Never had a number one hit. Okay. Here we go. I 
I can just picture them playing this song and seeing Roger Daltrey swinging his <laughs> microphone, bringing it down, you know, doing that little march step that he does and watching <laughs> Pete Townsend just whipping his arm around to that guitar. Boom. <laughs> Wow. This is a classic song. This is uh, unbelievable. That not just this song, because we're not just talking about songs that never made number one. We're mm -hmm. talking about group. bands group. or artists. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, you think about, you know, when they did My Generation, that was pivotal for the 1960s. They did, you know, they, they did rock operas and Tommy, you know, was yeah. highly influential. Tommy can hear me. You know, yeah. Quadrophenia. I mean, the, the, this band is, you know, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, they're just an amazing, amazing rock band, and it's unbelievable that they never got a number one hit in the And this was States. this was connected to was it CSI? CSI? Yeah, there was the whole CSI. I guess there was <clears throat> the regular CSI, the one in Vegas. Then there was the Miami but one. It's, it's connected to all of them. Yeah, they had a different song, different Who song for each one of the CSIs. And I think mm. this one was for CSI New York. If I'm not correct, put it down in the comments. The original CSI from Vegas, I think they had Who Are You. Oh. I don't remember no, the yeah, one right. from Miami. Yeah, I don't know either. Down in the comments, what the Miami theme, CSI Miami, what Who song so did they CSI have? So CSI used a different Who song for each individual series. Yeah, I think they really just wanted a classic rock sound for the introduction. Yeah, they got it. And it was so impactful. When you yeah. watch the beginning of CSI and you're hearing, you know, Who Are You, you know, when you're, you know, as the intro, it really grabs you into yeah. that show. I mean, yeah. I think that may have been the big grab for a lot of people to watch that show in the beginning. Maybe, maybe the producers of CSI felt that they were they were uh, severely, um, seriously uh, uh, um, forgotten in terms of uh, of their rankings of maybe. number number one. Maybe. Yeah. And they're like, okay, we're gonna make them number one by by making them their our, right? our theme song. Yes, yeah. Uh, they, I'm sure they sold a lot of records after CSI or had a lot of downloads after mm -hmm. CSI came out because it would have just brought their music either back to people or to a whole new generation of people who had never heard them before. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, never had a number one hit in the U.S. on Billboard wow. charts. Yes, the happy world of me Let's get together Before we get much older
brilliant. Absolute brilliance. Wow. I can't believe not only that that band has never had number one, like or that song, but that whole band has never had a number one. Yeah, that's, that's just not right. And that, that <clears throat> violin or fiddle or whatever at the end, you're right, it did kind of have a... Well, that whole, that whole like, feel, last two it, minutes was either, it was, I, I originally said this is, this seems very Indian. Yeah. But, but then I thought, this, this seemed very Greek. And then it so, sounded like it was country almost at the end with the fiddle going yeah. near like a million miles an hour, like something that, you know, yeah. a fiddler, some yeah. country fiddler would have played. Yeah. Well, and that's a big difference, Indian or Greek, but uh, oh, does everybody else feel? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing song. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Now, if anybody knows why it was called Bubba O'Reilly. Put that down in the comments because mm -hmm. that's not mentioned not once in the song. I don't know why it's called that. I know a lot of people think it's called Teenage Wasteland, but we know that that is not the case. No. But I don't know why no. it was called that. So if you have any information about that, put that down in the comments. And if you like the Who and you want to hear any more Who songs, put that down in the comments as well. What is your favorite Who song? Tommy, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> It was a great movie. I love that movie. And I saw it on Broadway. Did you see it on Broadway? I did see it on Broadway. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. It was brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. He sure played a mean pinball. <laughs> <laughs> and I always did like their version better than Elton John. Oh, God. Although Elton John's was good too. But yeah. But you know, we think of this band and arguably had one of the best rock drummers in Keith Moon in the history of rock bands. And John Entwistle, as their bass player, was no slouch either. This band was just an amazing band. It's so hard to believe when you think of, you know, Roger Daltrey and that voice, you know, with the grit and the, he could just screech it out. And I wonder how far, how far, how high they made it in the charts. Well, with I, any one of their songs. Well, I can tell you that. Oh, what? Because that is the fact. That's part of oh. the, but see, just like, we didn't practice this. <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, like all the bands that we're doing this week, never made the number one charts in the U.S. Billboard, but they cracked the top 40, which is more than some of the other bands we have done. They actually only got as high as number nine. Number nine is as high as they got. The yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see for miles was their highest oh. charting song. Great ever. song, yeah, but great song. So still many only songs nine. That... Now some of their songs were probably not released as singles, and if anybody knows any information about that, you can put that down in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. However, they had enough songs that were released as singles that you think that a band such as the Who, that. yeah, you know, would have topped that. Topped that. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. great songwriting. Yeah. You know, Pete Towns, an amazing songwriter, amazing guitarist, and all the other guys I've mentioned already. Unbelievable. <clears throat> wow. I still can't believe it. Yeah, that's quite... Uh... Yeah. So, again, heartbreaking. Yep. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, classic bands, maybe again, before their time. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Very cool. Anyway, we'll uh, see you all again another day, and we will do more of these, you know, two. two, two. We are number two. Two minutes and one. <laughs> Anyway, everybody have a joy. <laughs> no, two, two minutes that and was one. A commercial. That's an old commercial. I'm not sure. Two, minutes two, 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 two minutes and one. I don't yeah, know where that came that, from. I don't know. Yeah. Just anyway, chew on that and have a joyful day. <laughs>